I swear to God, for about a dollar fifteen, a dollar ten, you can fill this whole jug with like tea or slushy or whatever it is that you that good for drink. This whole bottle, for dollar ten, or at least a dollar. This is really cool. I love when I buy stuff like this. Dragon's blood. My mom burns these all the time. I never could understand why she was burning them, but you know something? The house always smelled good. <laughs> Thinking about purging some more of these in the future. It's really cool. Make all kinds of O's. My mother hated when I played through the incense. <laughs> I guess I see why, because she doesn't like uh, certain things. Incense was one of them. All right, let's go ahead and put this up. All right, so uh, what made me decide to actually start it? posting video. So here's the thing. I actually wanted to start posting videos back in 2010, 2011. This was when um, I was actually wanting to start posting videos, but I didn't know exactly how to post them because I already had a camcorder. I had the adequate lighting. And when I wanted to have it come up with this idea on how to do it, I was actually in Sacramento. I had all this equipment. I had, I had like, microphones, headphones, video. I had the, the space, everything was there. I had all, all the, everything, like all the equipment was there. But I didn't have the idea. I just did not have the idea. I was sitting in my rotating chair for months on end trying to figure out what idea I would be able to come up with. And when I'm talking months, it took me almost three to four years to actually come up with an idea. By the time I actually came up with the idea, it was already too late because I've already lost all the gear. Now, had I had the idea, or should I say the niche, on what to actually talk about on camera and actually post those videos on either Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube, and I guess now IG recently since they started coming up. I wanted to just get uh, just get in front of the camera and just start talking about things. Now, with that said, I didn't actually come up with the idea until after I left Florida. When I had that when I had that idea at the time, I lost all my equipment. And since some of you uh, know about it, some of you may not. So I was uh, actually homeless for about I say about two and a half years, somewhere around there. And I had this driving idea. I didn't have any equipment. And I started out with just one small phone that I actually don't have anymore. The, the phone was actually a phone I found that still had internet service. And I was actually in, shelf, in a shelter in Lafayette, Louisiana. And I was able to still do a whole bunch of things because I didn't have access to the internet for quite some time. But you know, that's a story for a whole other time. So I started coming up with this, with this idea on what to actually talk about and what I actually, what I actually put on YouTube. So a past friend of mine uh, basically said to me, you know, I hope that you actually make it on YouTube. And I thought to myself, I said, you know what? I'm actually going to do that. So what I decided to do was I came up with a, a decisive plan on exactly how I was going to actually do this. And it was going to cost me anywhere between thirty dollars to $40,000 to get all my studio equipment and the place to start. I say about $50,000 and three years later, I'm pretty much at the point where all I have to do is just start paying for a, a few dollars worth of ads per day, if not per month, and start advertising. I then came across just recently a platform where, can I, where I can actually get paid as a as social media influencer. Recently, I started posting uh, commercial ads on my Instagram page. It, um, this is what I, I actually don't really use Instagram for much of anything. But now that I've started learning at the statistics of how Instagram is trending, I'm reconsidering the fact of actually posting videos there. One of the few reasons why I actually started posting videos is the fact that I'm not necessarily a person that wants to be stuck at a day job you know, all the time. So for example, most companies want for you to basically work independently for everybody else. So if you're like working in an office somewhere and you're shuffling around paperwork, they put you in this room, you're basically not really talking to anybody that's next to you or in front of you. And you're basically looking at full 
old boss. Now for me, I'm actually able to do something like that. But the issue is, is that because there's so much competition as far as trying to be able to get a service job goes, no matter what that job is, it could be any kind of job, inside, outside, you're basically isolated from everybody else as far as a social life goes. You're, you're basically by yourself in an open world doing a, I don't wanna say a simple job, but a simple enough job to where it's like, this is not something that, this is basically not your purpose. The opposite of that coin is, a lot of these businesses are trying to get social and they're trying to really butt into urban life to you know sell these products. And they're trying to get you know other friends to be so social and you know sell products to them. It's all an attempt to, uh, to make money. But when you become an employee and you start you know clocking and clocking out, they want you to stay completely quiet. So the downside of that kind of life is that people tend to talk about the work to their friends and they talk about how bad it is. So a lot of these companies want you to be social, or should I say highly social outside of the company, and they want you to keep your mouth shut when you're actually on the clock. So one of the main and few reasons why I wasn't fit for a lot of companies is not because of my job was for performance, because I actually strapped up and became a whole hell of a lot more disciplined than that. It was more of the extra stuff. Oh, you shouldn't be talking to people. You shouldn't be taking so much time. Oh, this, they said somebody complained. This, I'm just like, this is not the light for me. I'm a social person. I'm a social light. I'm the kind of person that wants to, you know, have a fun time with people. I decided to become a social media influence and a social comedian because I like <laughs> making people laugh. This was partly the reason why I wanted to become an actor and a musician and anything that pretty much orbitizes around that. If that advertises is even a word. Uh, I'm not gonna sit there completely quiet while doing my job. You know, it it gets boring for eight hours straight. You're just sitting there, just you know, it's yeah. Most of it's repetitive, and, and the and the job still needs to get done. But the effect that it has on the brain, it figuratively molds the brain into a different or into a uh, basically into a box. And a lot of us human beings aren't stackable boxes. I guess if that's the even. For so yeah, I had this idea for a while to become a social media influencer, um, a you, uh, not necessarily a YouTuber, but somebody that a lot of people actually knew and would consider, I don't want to say get behind, but consider accepting information from. And I would have eventually saw myself on the big screen as a big time actor, like any good actors that that you would know like you know samuel jackson denzel washington johnny depp leo dicaprio all those guys you know just be one of those guys you know, you know that, that was pretty much my goal because my family were, was entertainers my, my parents my great grandparents my second grandparents or my second yeah all right my second <laughs> my second grandparents they every last one of them were entertainers that's pretty much where it stems from again like i said i like being social i like entertaining people. I like giving them information that they can take away and say, hey, you know what? This guy right here knows what he's talking about. It's not some, you know, some trickster drunk that you, you know, find on the street next to an ATM sipping a 40 uh, at the bodega store and talking about war stories to no end. And you're, you're basically telling him, shut up, grandpa. We heard enough of that BS yesterday and last week. We already know that you fought this guy in Vietnam. And he's, you know, he's looking up and he's saying, who are you talking to? Well, I'm your Elder, you need to do. The folks like me don't necessarily fit into mainstream society when it comes to oh if you don't work you don't get paid you know working these service jobs is really cumbersome for people like us i have a whole bunch of skills from you know driving to delivering packages to wiping people's ass that you're in their 40s. Done office work, catering food, sales, the security, the whole nine. I have a whole bunch of skills in addition to video and audio editing and displaying products. It's a whole range of skills. Now I'm sure a lot of you were wondering why I started posting videos instead of just regular text. It's mainly because number one, a lot of my social media posts, as far as words go, was not getting to the crowd um, as I like for it to be. Even though they had like the scene by 600 people on Facebook and you have in these these um, watched by whatever on Twitter and this, that, and the third. They had the they had the little counter right there that I actually, that I actually really love. But you know, the, a lot of the social media guys, the, these, these overlords, they took them away, so I, I wasn't able to measure what posts were effective and what's what. But whatever, who cares? It's not my platform. It's not my 
development operation, whatever. So that was the reason why I started posting videos. I want it for you guys to basically see my face, see what I'm talking about, take it to a direction where I want to go, instead of just hiding behind a mask, which I actually wanted to do. It was meant to keep away from these employers because a lot of them like to, especially middle management, which is like really strange. Why do you guys keep looking people up on Facebook? What does Facebook have to do anything? What does Twitter have to do anything with getting a job? Are you guys stupid? What? So I had, I changed my name multiple times before Facebook started cracking down on that. Not so much Twitter and Instagram and a few other sites, but I just kept the name you know, Jay McWilliams because I initially wanted to change my name to Jay McWilliams. I just didn't have the money for the time because it's really, 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 really expensive. It's expensive. And it shouldn't be. Now with that said, the second part of this is, is that it's not really me that I want you guys to notice. It's really just the content and the message that I want you guys to hear, which is why you see me wearing a lot of plain shirts where this green, gray, black, everything of what I wear is practically Plain. I used to wear a lot of uh, South Pole shirts and a lot of pants and all that. Everything was like vibrant. So you know what? I decided to take all that away and I wanted for you guys to focus on just me as a social brand and somebody that you know has some kind of social impact in your life. Not necessarily not so financial much. or anything else, but I definitely would love to throw those things in there. But it's mainly just on a social level, just social entertainment. Somebody that you know and trust to give you good information. So that's why I started doing this. But like I said, it took me years to get to this point, near a decade. It took me almost a whole decade just to get to this point. This would have been my second time being able to do this. And so far it's slowly and slowly become successful. I've seen some views, but it's taken a while. I don't have enough money for the advertising just yet, but it's going to get there. It's going to need, it's going to take about a few more months, but basically becoming a social media influencer, if not a paid one, takes a lot of video posting, good content, a lot of wits and being able to find your niche. Then we get to the technical side, tags and a correct thumbnail and a good title and whatever it is. It's all that combined into one. I'm trying to slowly back away from, you know, telling people to you know, follow, share, like, comment, hit the notification button. You know, you know, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. I'm kind of running towards like Casey Nestit. I think that's, I think I pronounced his last name correctly. I just post it after a little bit of editing and just leave it as it is and just let y'all make the determination on how you want to receive the information. I pretty much further understood how to actually not just record and put in the right content, but also editing, mixing, and mastering. So I'm still trying to get more of my music out there rather than just using somebody else's, um, which is which is why I'm diversifying myself between <clears throat> not just glitch hop, trance, and dubstep, and old classic house music. Also still dabbling into breakbeat and hip hop, but just the instrumental side, just the old school hip hop. Not that computer generated garbage that you hear that, you know, T69 and all these other strange rappers that try to put I'm out. I'm trying to post really good content Content along with really good music and I'm still and if I wasn't so busy with other things especially with uh, especially with my financial things I'm, if I didn't have to leave the house half the time to do to, to do other outside work I just lock myself in a room and just post videos and music all day long talking about just audio and social content so my purpose is to number one stay off of gov government benefits because well you know fuck government I'm not gonna say which government but you guys pretty much get the idea number two stay off of in uh, full-time payroll so full-time basic full-time payroll is basically a, you know full-time job part-time job multiple jobs because like I said if you don't work you don't get paid I'm the type of person that wants to make residual money while I continue to post more videos because Google and I guess Instagram this time or started recently they pay you to post videos or should I say they pay you through the ads for posting good content that gives you the free time to travel the world and post videos recruit folks and have those guys do editing for you so you have more free time to post more videos 
it's it's a, like it's a cycle. Or, yeah, it's a, it's like it's kind of like a cycle. So you post more videos and you edit them and you hire your own personal crew to e edit those videos for you. If you see where I'm going with that. So that's my purpose, that's my goal. Now, why do I do this? It's mainly to inspire you folks to be also become social media influencers. Uh, if you have that idea or you have like a small business that you're working hopefully on, hopefully it's in the media industry because I would love you guys forever if you did that. Or if you was doing that, love you guys forever. I'm talking to you, Dwight, you're you're one of them. You guys are the ones that keep things m moving along. You, you guys are the the the, the, the social hotshots. You're the one that you you guys are the ones that move the world in the direction that it needs to go. You're the social celebrities, not the celebrity celebrities where they're making over ten quadrillion dollars a month on some random perfume or whatever it is, I don't know. Name your product. You know, you're the guys that actually keep society running. You're, you're, that's why they call you the social influencers. And there's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of you guys. So far, I haven't seen anybody of who I personally know start posting and editing videos on a constant basis, like say, for example, two or three times a week. And I know a lot of people, or should I say a lot of people know me. And I see a bunch of photos, both unedited and edited. It edited. Um, I see a lot of you guys. I give you good. I give you props because you know sometimes I don't even have the time to do it. I have Photoshop and Illustrator, and just, I have good skills with that, especially with time lapse and stop motion and bullet time. I have those because I just don't have the time. It's more towards uh, vlogging and musician work or should I say composer work and just DJ. I just want to focus my skills on that. So now that I have an optimal camera, I can relieve myself of not using my D5600 from Nikon because that's a thousand dollar camera. If I drop it, it's going to cost me another thousand dollars before I get another one. I am not doing that. <laughs> I don't want to go to the, you know, B&H and sit there and drop another thousand dollars. Like, oh, what happened to the last camera? Yeah, um, it, it, it broke. I'm not happy. I hope you guys continue on this journey with me while I start to move forward and get these gears going. Just bear with me while I try to get this whole project going and hopefully I get the start to start meeting uh, more audio heads like myself. And yeah, I wanna see where this goes. I wanna see how far this uh, YouTube channel goes and I guess we'll take it from there.